Well, coming soon to the Motor City, cutting edge metal detectors for big crowds already. We are hearing a lot of reaction from the community about this. Given a rise in gun violence, we are asking how they are expected to save lives and what the cost will be to taxpayers. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette shows us what led to a four-year contract for technology promising to be a game changer for public safety. City Council says investing in public safety is a top priority for block parties and other large gatherings. It's part of the reason they're spending more than a million dollars on new technology. They're crowd sized metal detectors able to conduct full body scans for guns and knives at major events like the Detroit fireworks, the auto show and more. And they are all monitored by Detroit police. Parents of two-year-old Maximus Jones, Carlos, and Tiffany strolling through downtown among those responding to council spending $1.3 million for them. Any type of protection is the best protection. It makes it more convenient, probably faster process, hopefully. So, yeah, I think it's a good idea. I'm scared to come downtown because I think stuff going to happen. So I'll feel safer going to events. Passed by a 7-2 to two vote, the detectors differ from traditional machines that require you to empty your pockets. Councilman Coleman Young Jr. says they are well worth the price tag. What was it that sold you on this type of technology? This is about saving lives. How many fathers have buried their children? How many mothers have buried their daughters? How much money is we have to spend in order to save a life is really what this is all about. Detroit police shared this video with us and prior to that with council before they made the vote. They tell us Massachusetts-based Evolve Express beat other companies competing for the contract. And this tech is supported by the Detroit branch and AACP and other local leaders. We look for our first deployment uh, at this upcoming fireworks, certainly being mindful of constitutionality and everything that we do. While none of the citizens we spoke with were opposed to the machines, council has made it clear this is only part of a solution to address gun violence. It might not be perfect, and there's some things we need to work on. There's only 10 of them that they have now, but this is something that the police said is really gonna be not a police asset, but the citizen's asset. So you can use this at block parties. You can use this in clubs. You can use this at events. The city says they hope to have all those high-tech detectors in place within 10 to 15 days with plans of securing grant funding to order more. From downtown, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Simon. For more information on those metal detectors coming to Detroit and how they will be used, make sure you head to our website at WXYZ.com and look for Simon's story.